Good morning. From the very beginning of when I started this job a few years ago, or let's say eight years ago, I kept bumping into an area that kept saying, um, Carl D'Souza, Carl D'Souza, Group 1111. And they talk about the Urantia world, and they talk about the, what the 1111 meant, although I don't remember, I'd have to read again. The thing that came to me last night, just as I was going to bed, was the mezuzah. It's a little, it's a little instrument that's about this size, and you put it on one side of your door before you walk in. It's supposed to, um, you see, I don't know what it's supposed to do, protect you. It's part of the Hebrew religion. I don't know if there's other religions that have it, but it's called mezuzah. When you think of mezuzah, okay, don't you think of bezola oil, corn oil? Mezuzah corn oil. They also call it meiz. May is I am the spirit. When you write it out, it's M-A-I-S. M-A-I is the month of May. If you reverse it, it says I am spirit. Now, that's all I'm about. Mr. Tackpence comes here and tries to explain to you how he goes to bed with clean hands, ends up painting in his movies, and wakes up with dirty hands. Well, that's crap. I went to bed with dirty hands last night. Mezuzah means corn oil. If you want to understand how the letter works in two letters, okay, I'm jumping all over the place, which is normal for me. In two letters, the maximum count I can ever have in two letters is 52. The letter Z and the letter Z. Now, if I put a number next to the Z, and I put a number next to the number. I add up the Z plus the number and then my 52 is larger because now we know what world it is in. So remember the mezuzah. It's like oil. Spices or homo sapiens species. Things we want to remember okay is change and the dollar bills in our pocket. What they mean the thickness of the coins, the size of a coin. A nickel is twice the size as a dime, as twice as thick as it is. Remember the cold, remember the hot. I forget what it is, but snow, okay, says no one. S-N-O-W, W-O-N-S, it says it wins. So the question is about snow. Is it hollow spirits that come in within the winter? And when they melt towards the sky with the breeze of wind or with the sun shining bright or light bright, we end up with the dead souls that reawaken and we breathe them in and we learn about the past. It's a computerized system, don't forget. They got to set this place up as best they could so it works for us. So all these crazy little intuitions that we had actually come true. So winter, okay, I'm not finished with this. In French, it says E. There means e-world e towards. There also means green. It also means glass. I'm not breaking it down for what it means. I'm just telling you what the meanings are in different languages uh, under the uh, sound or definition. The other thing you want to remember is when you ground something, you want to ground it into the ground. So you take your right ground and your left ground, one, one. Okay? This would be your energy. And your two feet, that's right, your two feet is what gets grounded. When they hung Jesus, his two feet were grounded into the ground. They were showing you what the cross was all about. It was an electrical connection. Snow, cold, hot, they all mean stuff. Um, another thing you would want to say is north is one, okay, northeast is two, West is three and south is four. But when you do this, from the north to the south, from the north to the south to the east to the west, it's from the top of your head to the bottom of your chin, towards your left arm, towards your right arm. I solemnly swear I do. That's what we do. When we pray to Jesus, that's what we do. When a Jew prays, usually he's doing this just like the Chinese. Um, what else is there? Let me see. Ice. 
There's ice, which can always see as what? Cold, that can always grow as old. Um, now, I didn't work on any of these yet, and I haven't been working enough on this. The English, lish, in French means to lick someone's ass. Or the French, crunch. I'm going to go on to my next. I watched a movie last night called Big Rig, and it's crazy. They said so many little things in there that some, it's almost like they were talking about the future. Did you know I ate chicken yesterday? When I pulled apart the chicken's neck and followed it right all the way down to the bottom, it came out his ass. The neck and the ass seemed to be stuck together. And the other thing, you know what they call it? They call it the collin. The, the, coll the collin bone, the collar bone. Funny how the two of them seem to come together. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was uh, Levicas, Levicas. And that word, if you use Levicas, okay, and you, you think about it, it's le, which means the, the quickness of I, T, and I, which says it's basically, for me, it's Rubik's Cube, the two worlds of spirit that go through the cycle. Um, the other thing you have to remember is the religion. Don't break the Sabbath. Why not break the Sabbath? What does it mean to break it? What does it mean if you don't break it? See, it's not religion in this world. The religion, should we understand, is the wisdom of thought. Not the wisdom, not the, not the religion, but the, the wisdom of thought. Then we have to go and we say to ourselves, okay, Walt Disney, it seems like the cats, Sylvester, was always out starving, looking for just a little bit to eat, and he was teaching his baby how to eat. That was Sylvester. Where Tweety Bird, okay, tweet, 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 tweet. They had a song about this on Fred Flintstone. But Tweety Bird was yellow. Snoopy was black and white, just like, just like the cow. Snoopy, black and white. He always spoke to his yellow bird that had his own bird bath to clean his own mind. So his wings can flap and cool down. There are lots of things in life. In the movie, they had a, the first thing I saw in the movie was a cat scale. Now, if you're caught overweight, there's a fine to pay, and you have to remove the weight. The cat and the mouse, the Federation groups, World Federation of Jews. If you go, you are an, you are an arbe, an arbitra. Alpha, beta means you're the referee. R sounds like R, B sounds like B, Arbetra is the way it sounds. The letter V is the 22nd letter. The letter A and D are the first and the last, Alpha, Omega, and the first four letters of the alphabet. Now, I know I'm, I'm just throwing these around, but I also saw one other thing yesterday that shows... 100%. Now, I don't know where it is. It's too bad I'm not making enough videos, proper videos. But it shows that um, 5775 is definitely the number. That's for sure. It's definitely the number. Um, I, I don't know where to start from here. I should do more videos where I write a little bit more in advance. But definitely 5775 is the number. And it's in two years from now. I don't know what's going to go on. The question is... Do they wait for the last day, or is that when the party begins? 1976. Excuse me, 1776. To 2016. Would be 1,008. If you want to look at it, 2016 divided. It's 1,008. 504. 200. And 40, and 50, 250, 252, 504, 252, 252 is exactly the Mayans number, 252 and a half is 126, 126, 621, 126, 261, 126 is 63. Now that's creation, and the 63rd day of the year 
if I remember, is March 4th, in which used to be the new inauguration of the presidents. So that would be May 3rd. So that's what's going to happen. It's this May 3rd or 4th is 63 days. Also, uh, it was this May 3rd. Uh, next May 3rd is the 2014. But in three years from now, in May, or excuse me, uh, March, not May, March, um, it's going to be, um, let me let me think, it's going to be 2014 and 2015. Once it reaches 2015, that'll make 10 years from the beginning when I started this whole thing, when I saw the light in the sky, and it told me that would be two, 10 exact years to the day that this began. Um, for those who don't understand and want to understand, I can probably blatantly and explain it. It's 5775 is a representation of George, is a representation of 1776, is a representation of the soft eggio, which I think is a new computer language coming out. Um, it means uh, mama and papa. It's on the roulette board, shows it exactly on the roulette board. You look on the roulette board, you will see. A section of numbers that has 57, you'll see a section of numbers that has 75. But for now, Raphael, 7286 in the Constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for taking part. Where are my glasses? I'm not sure. I just woke up. But I had a couple of dreams last night, like the last couple of nights. I am so tired. I am so tired. When I wake up in the middle of the night from my dream, that I just, I just go back to bed. But it repeated. Last night's dream repeated very clearly. For three nights in a row, I've had a clear dream that I haven't mentioned, but they've been clearer and clearer, and it's fantastic. It feels good. It feels like there's something more into my life than nothing at all. For most of you, you'll keep saying I'm into nothing land. Well, that's okay. Raphael, 7286. I always like to put down my camera before I end it. There you go. Okay, Raphael, 7286 in the Constellation of Pegasus. I want to thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. 2016, don't forget. 2018 is in two years from now.